In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to add this like button to your YouTube videos to get more likes using Adobe Premiere Pro. So keep watching. friends welcome to a brand new tutorial here on my youtube channel Nemo tv here on Nemo tv i post weekly vlogs and also video editing tutorials so if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button today and join the Nemo tv family I've included all of the files that you might need for creating this file below in the descriptions including the final and ready to use project so let's open adobe premiere pro and start creating this animated light button so I'm just gonna get started with creating a new project on my Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm just gonna name it to like me. And I just hit okay. Then I go to the assembly tab and over here uh, from the project menu, I just right click, new item, sequence. Since I'm working on 4K, I'm just gonna add the 4K sequence. If you are using like HD, just go to this one. Uh, 24 frames per second. All right, my sequence is ready. Now I'm gonna import the files that I'm gonna need. So I've included all of the files below in the descriptions. You can just download and use them. I just drag these two files and drop them over here first. And then I get this like icon and I drop it on my timeline. I zoom in. I'm just gonna need about three seconds of this. So yeah, this is good. So I drag the end and drop it over here on my pen. I'm just gonna make this smaller. I click on this, I go to editing. Then I go to effect control tab and from the scale, I just make this smaller. Yes, this is good. And I think this is fine. I go to effects and I look for transform. Transform. And then I drag and drop it over my like button. I go to editing effects control and over here I just let me just make some space here then if I just scroll down I'm gonna see this transform section being added here and what I do I toggle on the position I make sure I'm in the beginning of my timeline over here and I put this like button out of the screen and then I hit space so it's played for a couple of like half a second and then I hit reset so it's in the middle and then I let it be played and I stop it here I hit reset so I have a keyframe here and then I just put, take it out of the frame again okay and uh, you remember to uncheck this and put your shutter angle to 80 to get a blurry transform effect. So if I play it now, let me just, okay, go up. All right, let me just make the intro faster so I get these two closer to each other. So I let it be played, let's say over here, a little bit like earlier. Uh, I click on the rotation, I toggle the animation on, I let it be played and then I rotate it like for seven degrees. And I hit it play like for half a second and then I hit reset so it's back to normal now if I play it out awesome and now I'm just gonna add this uh, activated or liked sparkling to the tip of the thumb so okay I click over here that we just make some adjustments I make it smaller I take it to the right, a little bit to the top, a little bit to the left, and I want it to appear like over here, then it's kind of down. Let me just move it back a little bit. Yes, this is good. Now I'm just gonna add the sound effects. So I've included the sound effects as always. So we just go to the sounds and just drag these three into our video. And I'm gonna start with the wipe. So I double click on this guy. So I'm gonna take the one in the beginning first. 
So I mark in, mark out using these two guys, drag and drop it in the beginning. So if I play it now, now when it goes off, I'm gonna get the one at the end. So I pick, mark in, mark out, drag and drop it at the end. Let me play it. Awesome. Now I'm gonna add a click sound. I double click on the click, mark in, mark out, drag and drop it over here. And then after it's light, I'm gonna add a ding sound. I double click on here, beginning, mark in, mark out, drag and drop it after the click is done. So I make this smaller here, make this tinier, put it here. Awesome, and that's it. Light out. And to make it easier for future applications, so you can just drag and drop it on your videos, I'm just gonna select them all and right click and create a nest. Let's say like me. Okay, and now I'm just gonna save this. Let's say I have a new project. So I go to new, new project. Let's name it um, sample like. I hit okay. So let me just uh, import a new sequence. Let's do 4K and then I have a video from like before. I'm just going to drag and drop it into this new project. Just drop it here or here. Keep the existing setting. I'm just going to zoom in. So this is the video that I just recorded. I'm just gonna drag and drop it here. All I need to do is to just go to my the pro project that I just created and just drag this and drop it over my project. Let's say here. So if I play it now. So if I if you want to make adjustments on this location, just select this, go to editing, effect control, and let's say I want to make this bring this lower, so I just put it here. So now if I play it, yeah, that's it. You have your animated like button ready. Just add it to your videos. Believe me, this is going to increase the likes that you're getting on your videos and it's going to result in higher engagements. And yeah, guys, if you had any questions, make sure to let me know below in the comment section. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If yes, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, and this is the first time watching my videos, make sure to subscribe and turn that bell notification on. Thank you for watching my videos. See you in the next one and mochles.